Hello and welcome to this next topic of OCR A-level chemistry, topic 35, which is carbon-carbon bond formation. And I've talked before in the other topics about how useful it is to make carbon-carbon bonds. And in this topic, I'm just kind of linking all of those things together. So you'll see things from previous topics and there's like a couple of new things as well. So the first one we talked about was the carbon-carbon bond formation in electrophilic substitution for benzene rings. So when you took a benzene ring and then you added, say, a haloalkane and a halogen carrier, then the halogen for the haloalkane is pulled off by the halogen carrier, leaving a positive charge on the carbon, and then that carbon can then substitute onto the ring to take the place of one of the hydrogens. So you've made there a bond between the carbon of the benzene ring and the carbon of that electrophile that you're adding. And you can also do the same thing with acyl chloride. If you take the Cl off of the acyl chloride, then you can make a positive charge on the carbon of the carbonyl group, and then that carbon can be substituted for a hydrogen on the benzene ring, making a carbon-carbon bond again. And so that's these two reactions. We called them frugal crafts reactions. And in the description below, I'll link in the video which tells you more about electrophilic substitution on aromatic compounds. And the other one we've seen before, and I've mentioned as a carbon-carbon bond formation reaction, is a reaction between, say, hydrogen cyanide and aldehyde and ketones. So you can make a hydroxy nitrile from the addition of hydrogen cyanide to an aldehyde or a ketone. So in the friedel craft reaction, the halogen carrier pulls the halide from the, say, haloalkane, and that leaves an R+. Plus. And that's electrophilic substitution. The R+, plus is substituted onto the ring in place of a hydrogen. With this one, the carbon has a negative charge on it, acts as a nucleophile, and it acts the delta positive of the carbonyl group. So that carbon of the carbonyl group is slightly positive. So in this nucleophilic addition reaction, you're making a bond between the carbon of the cyanide, which is going to make a nitrile group, and this carbon of the carbonyl group. So that's this part here. And those are the ones we've seen before. And I said in a previous one that the specification didn't cover what you could do with this hydroxy nitrile. Turns out it was later in the spec. So this is the part where it turns up. So there's two things you need to know that we can do with this. We can change it into an amine group, or we can change it into a carboxylic acid group, both of which can then go on to do further things. So how do you do those two reactions? To turn it into an amine, you need to reduce it. So you need to add two lots of H2, one to the carbon, one to the nitrogen. So that makes CH2 and NH2, which would be an amine. And you do that by adding hydrogen with a nickel catalyst. It's a reduction reaction. And that will give you this product, so a CH2, NH2. You'd have to add two lots of hydrogen to do that. But in reality, you just have excess hydrogen. And the other thing I said you could do is turn it into a carboxylic acid, and you do that by acid hydrolysis. So what you need to do is heat it with aqueous acid, and that changes the CN into a carboxylic acid. It does that by first making an amide, and then going to carboxylic acid, but we don't need to know that much detail. All we need to say is that add aqueous acid to this, and heat it, and you end up with a carboxylic acid where the nitrile group was. And if you look at the steps, so this to a primary amide and then to a carboxylic acid, you need to add two waters. The first one makes an NH2 and C double bond O, so that's where the O and the H2 go to. And the second step hydrolyzes that amide, so the same as we've seen before with hydrolyzing, say, a condensation polymer, a polyester or a polyamide. If you break that bond, then you put OH onto the carbonyl, and H onto the nitrogen part. So that would do this with ammonia, and then this product as well. If you're going to write this out as a proper equation, then you'd need two H2Os. And hopefully you can see where they go. This nitrogen is just this nitrogen, and then this carbon is this carbon. You've got two oxygens coming from the H2O, and then you've got one and three hydrogens, that's four hydrogens, from the two H2s. Now this is in acidic solution, so this would get protonated to NH4+. Plus by this acid as well, but tailor your answer to the question which is asked. And there's only one other thing we need to do, and that's linking together cyanide, so CN minus, but with the minus charge on the carbon, and nucleophilic substitution, which we did in the first year. So in AS, organic chemistry, we did nucleophilic substitution, but the only mechanism we needed to know was with hydroxide substituting for a halogen. Now cyanide, we also know, is a nucleophile, and so that can also swap with a halogen, and that'll make a carbon-carbon bond between this carbon and the carbon that was previously bonded to the halogen. So I'll draw a reaction to show you what I mean. Now we don't need to be able to draw the mechanism, although it's conceivable that they could ask you. I've seen them ask questions where you draw a nucleophilic substitution mechanism using an unknown nucleophile. It's exactly the same. It's the lone pair on the carbon, the 
attacking this carbon bromine bond, so the carbon is slightly positive, so the lone pair is actually positive, and breaks the bond between the carbon and the bromine, making bromide, which gets to the H plus to make hydrogen bromide, leaving the carbon bonded to this previously delta positive carbon. And you can see in this example the carbon chain was originally two long and now it's three long. So it's gone from ethane to propane. So this was bromoethane and then this is propane nitrile. And this nitrile group can undergo the same reactions as this nitrile group. So you could reduce it with hydrogen and nickel catalyst to make an amine, or you could hydrolyze it using an acid to make a carboxylic acid. And so this is a lot of stuff we've seen before. I'll put a link in the description for all these things we've seen the mechanisms of. So we know the mechanism of electrophilic substitution or nucleophilic addition or nucleophilic substitution. So we have seen those mechanisms before but you can look at those videos to remind yourself. The only thing that's really new is this reduction of a nitrile and the acid hydrolysis of a nitrile. But hopefully you can see that this adds quite a lot of use to nitrile groups because we can do things with carbonyls like esterification, we can do things with amines like making an amide, and so it just adds more reactions to your organic chemistry reaction arsenal. And that's it for topic 35, which is all about carbon-carbon bond formation. Thank you very much for watching and I hope you can join me for the next one. Goodbye.